What's going on YouTube? This is Seham and I'm back with another figure review and today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, this is uh, what this is a Movie Masters Hal Jordan Green Lantern. This is an old figure guys. Um, never got around to reviewing it. Finally decided to review this uh, this this figure. If you guys remember the Movie Masters figures from Green Lantern the movie they were pretty terrible. They came with a build a figure piece with, uh, of parallax. Um, this is an oversized uh, uh, pretty much uh, same exact figure that we got from the six inch um, uh, movie masters this is just obviously a 12 inch uh, scaled figure but I don't have that figure in hand it's put away in storage but it's the like same exact figure with a few little different features and obviously the scale is a lot different but um, packaging is pretty nice on this uh, you can see here it's got the uh, a green lantern written there it's got a try me button right here which you can just you can do but we're gonna open this up and review it and you can see it's got the uh, the little Green Lantern um, um, effect going on there. You can see that there. So that's uh, the figure in the background. It's got a little uh, nice little artwork of uh, the Green Lantern core and space and stuff um, over here on the side. It's a it's a nice packaging for um, men on card collectors. I mean, you can just keep this thing in package and it'll look really cool. Uh, if we turn the back here. It shows you a, a nice little uh, look at the actual figure. It's got a nice little read up. If you want to read that, feel free to and pause. It says recites oath in voice of Ryan Reynolds, which is pretty cool. So there's a little um, image of the figure. And it says here his power, his powers, he how powers up when ring is near emblem, and uh, he's got he's got a die cast um, ring there. And there's the base that he does come with, and uh, this is made. This is I think this is a Maddie Maddie collector. Um, exclusive at the top of the box there it just reads green lantern so this is really cool again for men on card collectors you can just keep this in in the box um, when this first came out I think it was like a hundred bucks or close to a hundred dollars I ended up getting this on Amazon several months ago I think I don't even know how long ago maybe half a year ago um, I got it for I think it was forty dollars so yeah the price went down on this just like the uh, green lantern movie um, uh, statues but let's take a quick break and we're going to take this figure outside of packaging, so stay tuned. Alright, so here's a nice little 360 look at the uh, Green Lantern Movie Master figure outside of packaging. You can see there he's got his base there, he's got the ring which seems to be glowing. And there's the figure, again similar to the 6 inch uh, Movie Masters figure that we love so much. I just wish this, this figure, I mean, I think what would have made this figure a lot better is if it would have came with a lantern. but. Didn't come with a lantern either way, still looks pretty cool. Now let's take a closer detailed look at the actual figure. Alright, so there's a close look at uh, Ryan Reynolds as Hal Jordan. You can see right there, there's the bottom of the base. The base is pretty cool. I mean, as far as the, the glowing uh, little ring effect, but the ring is removable from here. You just take this off here and it obviously stops glowing. This is a die cast ring. Uh, we've gotten this like several times in various, there was like, there was, like various ways to get this die cast ring. Um, if you guys remember there were so many <laughs> there were so many Green Lantern figures and they all came with certain uh, types of rings. Some of them were uh, plastic and some of them were die cast and this Hal Jordan ring just, this Hal Jordan figure just keeps on going off right now. But it's a pretty nice ring. It's a little oversized it doesn't fit my finger. You can see that right there. It's a little too big. But the material on it's pretty good. Again, it is die cast. It's got a little bit of um, info right there, made in China. But it's a really cool uh, prop piece. Cool to have. I really like how I really like this ring. Looks nice. But um, now let's let's look at the actual figure. Before we do, actually, let's look at the base. So you can take this off here, and the figure. This it comes with this little stand which uh, um, the figure just pegs into the back here. You can see right there. And then you just place this base right here, or this stand right there at the bottom of the base. Um, the base is pretty pretty simple, it's plain. It's got, this is where the speaker is. And uh, it's got this button right here you can push if you place the ring there. And you know it lights up right there at the bottom of the base. You can see that right there. And if you put, if you put the ring, if you place the ring actually there, the ring lights up as well. So that's pretty cool. That's so, and then this stand just plugs into the base here, and uh, you connect the figure in the back. So let's look at Hal Jordan himself here. So this is a pretty nice looking figure. Again, if you guys have the Movie Masters figure, this is the same exact thing. Except I don't think the Movie Masters figure you were able to see Hal Jordan's eyes. And this one you can. He's got a really nice um, 
green eyes there. I really like how the eyes look on this on this uh, figure. Mask looks good. The paint is pretty good on this as well. Hair looks pretty good. Um, the outfit you can see right there. There's a little hole to plug in the little display stand. Articulation on this guy is going to be pretty weak. Uh, looks good though. I really like how this figure turned out. He's got that same hand um, uh, positioning that the uh, six inch movie movie masters has as well. And there's an overall look at the actual figure. There's no peg holes there at the bottom. But uh, looks pretty good. I like how the suit came out. The paint is pretty clean on here. There's a close up on the logo. And there's a close up on the ring. If that's going to focus pretty soon. There you go. And uh, let's take a look at the back of the figure again. So that's pretty much it for the Hal Jordan figure. Now, as far as the articulation goes on this guy, it's gonna it looks like it's gonna be pretty limited. Um, the head does rotate, can slight. Nah, it doesn't really go up and down. The arms do go in and out, forward and back. He's got a bend at the bicep, not too much though. Um, rotation, the lower arm, the hand looks like it can rotate, and that's about it. No waist articulation. The other hand on the right hand doesn't go in and out. It just goes forward and back and there's no other articulation because of this, this part lights up here. Legs can slightly go in and out, forward and back. Uh, bend at the knee, no rotation in the leg. The foot can go up and down, can rotate very little. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty much, it's just like a plastic, like feels like kind of like a hollow figure, but it's still, it's still a nice, nice display piece. Um, I, I was kind of bummed that we never got like a, a Hot Toys version of uh, uh, this Hal Jordan. I think Hot Toys would have made a really cool looking um, Green Lantern figure. But this isn't really a bad piece. If you're a Green Lantern uh, fan, you might want to pick this up. Not if, I mean, if you're, if you're not a Hal, uh, Ryan Reynolds fan, then you might not want it. Okay, so what this does is now we peg this into the back. You can see that right there. So now he's fully assembled on his base. You can see that the ring is glowing there and we, we remove the ring and what you can do you can either push the button that's on the display piece or you can just uh, what you do is you get the ring and you put it up to the uh, the Green Lantern um, symbol there on his chest doesn't seem to be working what's going on here I don't think it's connected there we go all right so when you connect them it's got to like power up so you put this against his chest. It was working a while ago. For some reason, it's not even working anymore. Hmm. I don't know if the figure is not on this properly. So you can see he was powering. He just powered up now, so it should work. Not sure exactly why this isn't reading. So the display is lighting up. But he's not doing anything. Let's see. Let's put the ring back down here. Take it back out. Nothing there. Let's see. So I pushed the button right here on the bottom. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna work this out together. Yeah, see this isn't working. Something's going on here. So maybe he's not connected to the back of this right. There we go. It wasn't he wasn't plugged in the back all the way. So you just you, you slide this ring across the chest, and he does these little little effects here. I'm not sure if it's if it's really reading too well on the actual figure. If it's actually pegged in all the way, it's kind of weird. I'm gonna take a quick break and try to figure this out. All right, guys, sorry about that. So I guess the problem was the base wasn't um, the little stand wasn't attached to the base well. Okay, so now we got this all figured out. Sorry about the delay. So what you do is you get the ring and you slide it across his chest. And he's going to do a lot of little sound effects there. You can see that there are lighting up effects, which is really cool. So there's that. There's that one there, which is very, very nice. I mean, this is just really cool. You can see the the um, the, the effect goes in, into the uh, right arm as well. Very nice. Let's get the arm a little forward this way. Get a little zoom in action here. It's 
So that's this is just this is so cool. Regardless if you're a move, fan of the movie, this is still a cool figure to pick up. And then of course there's the uh, oath. So now I'm going to show you what this looks like with the lights off. Okay guys, so here we have the lights off. You can see the green light is uh, still um, lighting up, or the ring, where the ring is displayed. Now what I'm going to do is push the little button there where the ring is. Brightest day, and blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power, green lantern's light. really really cool so that's what it looks like with the lights and there off. you have it guys sorry about the long little uh, uh, mishap I had there but this is a really cool figure guys um, you, so you get the base you get the die cast ring you get the base lights up uh, the ring actually lights up there as you can see and the figure itself lights up it's kind of um it's not like a Hot Toys um, type of figure and it's not uh, very articulated but it's very cool for what it does again I'll show you guys you know, it does the how it does the uh, Ryan Reynolds voice, and it does the little lighting up effects, which is very cool. So this is um, this would be cool for kids or just collectors. I mean, this is a very nice little piece to have. And again, it comes with this little display piece here in the back of the card. I didn't take the plastic piece out yet, but it's got all the Green Lantern uh, core back there in space and stuff. But there you have it, guys. This is my review. This is Seha Man. Today we're taking a look at the Green Lantern um, movie masters. I, this is like a I don't know if this is a Maddie collector. Uh, exclusive or not but it's the movie masters Ryan Reynolds uh, with a uh, Ryan Reynolds voice alright guys this is Seha Man hope you guys enjoy this review see you guys later and take care